For today's discussion, we will talk about MELC or the most essential learning competencies by the Department of Education to answer the problems brought by the new coronavirus-19 to the education system of the Philippines. The most essential learning competencies were provided by the Department of Education as the primary reference for all schools, schools division offices and regional offices in determining and implementing learning delivery approaches that are suited to the local context and diversity of learners, while adapting to the challenges posed by new coronavirus-19. Schools are hereby instructed to refer to the most essential learning competencies in creating learning activity sheets, self-learning modules, and other instructional materials. Moreover, schools are enjoined to adhere to the content of the most essential learning competencies and refrain from creating a new list of learning competencies for different learning areas. Source. DM No. 89 Series of 2020. Clarifications on the use of the most essential learning competencies and other related issues. This is not for sale. Most governments around the world have temporarily closed educational institutions in an attempt to contain the spread of the novel coronavirus. These nationwide closures are impacting almost 70% of the world's student population. Several other countries have implemented localized closures impacting millions of additional learners. Department of Education is supporting in efforts to mitigate the immediate impact of school closures, particularly for more vulnerable and disadvantaged communities, and to facilitate the continuity of education for all through remote learning. So continuing education through alternative learning pathways, as soon as possible, must also be a top priority right now, to ensure the interruption to education is as limited as possible. We urgently need to support teachers, parents, guardians, innovators, communications experts and all those who are positioned to provide education, whether through radio programs, television companies to broadcast educational shows, modules or modular approach, homeschooling, online learning and other innovative approaches. Alternative delivery mode refers to the non-traditional education program, recognized by the Department of Education, DEEPT, which applies, a flexible learning philosophy and a curricular delivery program that includes non-formal and informal sources of knowledge and skills. An alternative delivery mode may include the use of facilitator-aided and interactive self-instructional print, an audio-based learning materials, videotapes, face-to-face structured learning groups, semi-structured and unstructured discussions, one-on-one tutorials, study groups and self-learning groups, demonstration sessions, home visits, mentoring and remediation. To continue the process of student learning amidst this pandemic, teachers must have expertise in a wide-ranging array of competencies in an especially complex environment where hundreds of critical decisions are required each day. One way to equip our teachers is to conduct series of online seminars, digital or virtual meeting, teleconference, and online trainings. The transformational power of an effective teacher is something many of us have experienced. It is very important to top the students' safety as well as for the teachers, school personnel, and school officials. Many of us have pleased the government to start the opening of classes next year or until vaccine is available. In my perspectives, education is really an important tool in transforming our students to be better citizens of this nation but never forget that life is the most important of all. Learn is 1PH. For more videos, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated to the latest happenings. Learn is 1PH.